Hello Raiders, Doomers, Crusaders, Scullies, and Dialers, although particularly Doomers today. I am back with another review, this time of my Steel and Jones Temple of Doom end scene jacket in their incredible lightweight cowhide, so stay tuned. So for those of you who know me, I am a diehard Steel and Jones fan, especially their jackets. I own a Raiders, Temple of Doom, and A Last Crusade is on the way. What is so unique about Steel and Jones is unlike any other jacket vendor out there, they design the patterns from scratch to fit your body. All the others base it on Harrison Ford's build and then they size up or down depending on what size you're getting. But Steel and Jones, they take several measurements based on jackets you already own, as well as pictures of your body, and they design the pattern so that it will sit on your frame the way it sits on Harrison Ford. And they are so specific and so granular with their detail that something like the Temple of Doom jacket is not just the Temple of Doom jacket, it is the Temple of Doom jacket end scene. Now they offer the rest of the movie's design, which is a looser fit, a little bit closer to what you see in Raiders, but the end scene Temple of Doom jacket, for whatever reason, is extremely tight on Harrison Ford. In fact, there are reports that Harrison hated this jacket because he could barely fit in it. And you can see, watching the film, his arms are really tight in there. Now, this jacket is not quite that uncomfortable. Um, in fact, it's probably my favorite jacket to wear just in daily life. I like a tighter fitting, tighter cut jacket. So when Diego at Steel and Jones asked me which model of Temple of Doom jacket I wanted, I said, I want the end scene. I love the sleeves. They're very, very crumpled. In fact, when this thing first arrived, it was extremely crumpled. And I just love the cut. I understand its power now. So a couple things I want to point out. First, the leather. So Steel and Jones offers this in a lambskin and a lightweight cowhide. Now, the lambskin is the accurate choice in terms of the original movie's jacket with lambskin, but Diego really praised his lightweight cowhide. And one of my best friends in the community, uh, Kevin Skinner, who goes by Keviana Jones on Instagram, he had a lightweight cow Temple of Doom in the uh, in the looser earlier scene version. He was just singing its praises, and so I decided, you know what? Not only is it cheaper, but I don't have any other cowhide jackets. All of my jackets are lamb, so why not try this? And I loved the highlights, you know, based on his pictures. My only concern was, if you look at some of the pictures you get for quality control from Steel and Jones, you could see that it's extremely shiny. And I was really worried because in the movie Temple of Doom, the jacket is very dull, it's very matte. But Kevin said that the shine goes away very quickly and I can attest to that as well. Within not even a week, the shine was gone. Well, I love this cow because it's so light. I mean, mind you, right now, when I'm filming this, it's hot, I'm sweating to death. It's like I'm in Sri Lanka. <laughs> But this leather is so lightweight that, you know, I can just take it out on a, even on a summer night and it looks so good because it's got this, this more like modern tapered cut to it. And this leather is, is really strong, really durable, but so lightweight. In fact, it is lighter weight than all of my jackets except for maybe my, um, my Last Crusade Wested Legacy. I think that might be the lightest jacket I own. But this is almost exact. I mean, the, the, the weight, they, these are almost the same exact weight. And not only is it durable, not only is it beautiful, but these undertones, these undertones are incredible. I really like this contrast. And, you know, another thing I need to emphasize too while we're at it talking about undertones is, for those of you who don't know about Steel and Jones, not only is the, is the fact that they make these patterns, these original patterns, so unique, but what's also special about Steel and Jones is for no extra charge, they distress the jacket to match the movie, to match the scene, and you can go as detailed as you want. You can be as heavy distressed as you want to look just like it's coming right off of the screen, or you can have a little bit more of a subtle light distressing if that's your taste. But what's great about that offering is if you buy a new jacket 
and you distress it, like like my last crusade, uh, Wested Legacy. You're risking damaging the seams, and if you're not careful, you could pop enough seams that could actually damage the jacket significantly. What Steel and Jones does is, when they cut the pattern, before they sew it, they do the distressing on those pieces of leather, and then they sew it. And technically that's not accurate because they didn't do that for the movie jackets, but it's a lot safer and guarantees the longevity of this investment because it's not cheap. What you're paying for from Steel and Jones is a jacket that is designed for your body to sit on your frame just like it does on Harrison. It's not a Harrison Ford pattern that has been resized to, to match your sleeves. This is a from scratch pattern that is designed to sit on your frame to drape the way it would on Harrison. And as you can see, looking at mine, they nailed it. I mean, this thing is absolutely perfect. This is a great leather. I did not choose this leather just to save money. I mean, I should, but I didn't. I chose this leather because I love the undertones and I love the, the look of it for an end scene Temple of Doom jacket. You have two options with the buckles and the same goes for their Raiders jacket as well. You can get the accurate buckles, which have a two prong design that actually stabs into the leather so that it stays secure or you can get just black buckles that have no prongs. I chose the, the buckles with prongs because I'm an accuracy nut. The other thing to note is they give an option of, of uh, lining materials with all of their jackets. You can do all polyester, you can do a cotton polyester combo, cotton body, polyester sleeves or satin sleeves. I highly recommend that. Um, polyester or the, the satin tends to rip up in the body, but if you do cotton sleeves, it can get stuck pretty easily. So I always do, no matter what the accuracy is, I, uh, with all of my jackets, I do cotton body and satin sleeves. With the, uh, with the Temple of Doom end scene, they've got the large YKK zipper, um, just, as, uh, just as it should. And that's the thing about Steel and Jones is they seriously look at every last detail and make sure that that's being implemented into the design. So you can rest assured that what you're getting is the, the most accurate cut possible. If I had to rate this thing out of five stars, it gets six. I love this jacket and I'm confident that you will too. If you have any questions for me, please feel free to reach out. I'm most active on Instagram at Riser Indie. Make sure to subscribe, share this video, like this video, do all the things that get this thing out there. I love this community. I love making content for this community and I hope to make more reviews in the future for you. Let me know if you see anything back here that you're interested in knowing more about. Reach out to me on Instagram. I love talking indie. I love talking indie gear. Until next time, my friends.